Hi, in this problem we have to show that this function y equals a sine 5x plus b cosine 5x is a solution to this differential equation. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So to do this problem, we basically have to take this function and plug it into this de and show that it's equal to zero. We have to show that this equation is true. So because we have the second derivative, we'll have to take the derivative of this twice. So the first derivative, dy dx, so the derivative of sine is cosine, but we have a 5x here, so we're gonna have to multiply by the derivative of the inside using the chain rule. So it'll be a cosine 5x, that's the derivative of the outside, evaluated at the inside, times the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of 5x is simply five. And then here it's plus b. The derivative of cosine is negative sine, so negative sine, 5x times the derivative of the inside, which again is 5. So just using the chain rule, you take the derivative of the outside, which is negative sine, you leave the inside untouched, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. So let me just clean this up. So dy dx equals 5 a cosine 5x, and then minus 5b sine 5x. Okay. So now we have to do it again because we have a second derivative. So the second derivative with respect to x. So taking the derivative of cosine, we get negative sine. So this will be 5a negative sine 5x. And again, chain rule tells us we multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is 5. Here, the derivative of sine is cosine, so same thing, minus 5b cosine 5x times five. So cleaning this up, we get the second derivative with respect to x is equal to, looks like negative 25, because we have five times five. So negative 25a sine 5x, and this will be minus 25b cosine 5x. All right, so that's the second derivative. So now we just have to take this and plug it into our differential equation, which is up here. So it says that the second derivative plus 25y is zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in to the DE. So the second derivative, negative 25a sine 5x minus 25b cosine 5x plus 25 times y. So y is up here, it's our original function. So a sine 5x plus b cosine 5x, so a sine 5x plus b cosine 5x. And all of this should be equal to zero. So let's see, this is equal to negative 25a sine 5x minus 25b cosine 5x. 25a sine 5x, so plus 25a sine 5x, and then plus 25b cosine 5x. And look at this, these go away, these go away, so you get zero, so it checks. So we basically took uh, our derivative, plugged it in here, right, and went along with y, and we got zero, so we've shown that this function is a solution to this differential equation. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.